All right, what's going on dudes and welcome to a pretty freaking awesome set of Minecraft videos that I am super excited about. So right now we're on the dropper which is a Minecraft adventure map that is pretty popular. You may have seen it before, but we're going to be playing it through with a very special twist. I'm going to be using the Oculus Rift headset as I attempt to freefall my way to victory. So, if you're already super familiar with the Oculus Rift, you've seen it in action a bunch, you know what it is, feel free to skip ahead a couple minutes to the actual gameplay, but for everyone else who's perhaps not as familiar with it, this might be your first time seeing it in action, you've never heard of it before, I wanted to give a brief bit of info on it so you sort of know what you're seeing. So right now, Minecraft is in its normal mode, but I have a mod installed that gives Minecraft Oculus Rift support. So if I go into my options here, and go into VR settings. Let me try to hold the headset straight because it tracks head orientation. Um, I can turn VR mode on, and this puts it into Oculus Rift mode. So you'll notice immediately that the screen splits in half, and as I move the headset around here, it moves my camera angle on the screen. So allow me to go ahead and put the headset on and then I can sort of explain a little bit more as to what's going on here. Oh my god, it still freaks me out every time I do it. It's crazy. So you'll notice, even in the menu here, as I move my head around, it moves the camera. So it's one-to-one -one tracking. As I move my head, it moves at the exact same amount of degrees in the game. And so it's basically like you are in the game. It's crazy. So obviously the only downside is that you can't, like, you, you don't have the hardware on your end to watch via YouTube, so um, you're gonna have to bear with me looking crazy and being <laughs> absolutely tripped out by this on my end, but uh, hopefully it will still give you a, some pretty good insight as to, uh, to what's going on here. So let me exit out of the settings and then um, yeah, as I walk around here, I can look around and it's just, it's like you're in the game. The first time I used one of these, uh, was at E3, um, for a press demo for EVE Online, uh, this space dogfight, and I was just, like, blown away. It was absolutely amazing. Um, so the only downside here, uh, is that... Since the screen is split in half, because one side of the screen goes to each eye, so the left side of the screen goes to the left eye, the right side of the screen goes to the right eye, and it allows your brain to, when you have the headset on, stitch together a three-dimensional image. It means, for the sake of YouTube viewing, I have to crop it to one side, so the resolution is going to be reduced a bit, um, but it's it would be a little bit distracting to watch full screen where you have these split screens, so I'm going to crop it to... Uh, to one side so it's a little bit more tolerable to uh, to watch but yeah just bear in mind that's why the resolution will be reduced anyway all right um, the only other sort of question people seem to have about it is that obviously since you have a mouse um, isn't it awkward to have sort of this double double rotation whereas right now I'm using the mouse and then I can rotate my head around picture the mouse as being your body rotation and then obviously the headset as being your head rotation. So it translates to sort of what you would experience walking around the real world in a sense. And uh, I have it set right now so that my mouse will only affect horizontal rotation and uh, it won't affect my pitch at all. Um, there's a setting you can change if you'd like for that to, to be adjusted, but I found that it actually seems to be more akin to um, how real world movement is when you just have the mouse uh, rotate horizontally so it's sort of like your body. Um, anyway, all right, I think that's uh, background enough. Um, <laughs> this is going to be ridiculous. So I thought the dropper would be a good map because it's basically like if I look down, I can just, I'm going to be falling. It's going to be like skydiving. I'm probably going to get nauseous. I was testing this out last night and I did get nauseous. Bear with me. <laughs> I did. I don't have a barf bag handy, um, but we'll see what happens. Okay, welcome to the dropper. One goal, survive the fall. One rule, don't break blocks by B. Gray. Okay, here we go. Um, set spawn, save, set, I guess, I guess I should set my spawn here, perhaps. Um, set today, sure. 
Hello, Mr. Pig. How are you doing? How are you? Pretty, pretty good, I hope. Yeah? Cool. Um, <laughs> uh, you noticed probably on your end the, the floating HUD looking a little bit weird. So basically, the way this works is that um, in the headset, the HUD is stationary in the world. Uh, it just looks like there's this, it's floating in front of me. Like I could just reach out and grab it at any point. Um, it's going to translate a little bit differently on the video itself. Maybe look like it's just floating randomly. But anyway, um, let's see. Level one, madness. This is madness. Stand on the gold block and push the button. Let's, which button? There are two buttons. I don't know which button to press. Um, I guess I'll push the middle one. Oh god. Okay. Oh my god. This is so ridiculous. Oh my god. Oh god. Wait. Oh. I died. I died. Where do I respawn? Um. Um. Whoops. This is. Oh, there we go. Yeah, I guess I have to hit escape. Sorry. Things. Things work a little bit differently with the Minecraft mod on. Um. Okay. Jeez. This is crazy. So. The only downside here is I have to look, like, way down. Um, I'm a little bit farther away from the mic than usual so that I don't accidentally run into it. <laughs> so hopefully the audio is still all right. Um, but, okay, let's try this again. Ah! Oh, my God. You'll notice I actually have a player model this time around. Okay, right there, right there. Ooh, here, boy. Oh, okay. Oh, my God. So there we go, first level. Out of the way. This is so ridiculous. Let's see where we just came from. Oh boy. Oh my god. I just it's very difficult to get used to how ridiculous this is. But yeah, I have a I have a player model, unlike regular Minecraft where you're just sort of floating around. I can see myself. The first thing that I did when I used this at the E3 demo fails, Captain Sparkles won. I can see the over there. It's really weird, like the HUD is just floating. It's literally like a HUD, heads-up display, the, to the truest definition. Um, okay, so teleport to the next level. So yeah, when I first used this, I literally, I reached out, I was in this cock cockpit setting on a, on a spaceship, and I guess we don't need that. Um, is this level 2 right here? Let's see. All the same options again. Um, yeah, I reached out in front of me, like, as if to, to try to grab it. <laughs> uh, oh, I should probably set my spawn. Um, I also set off view bobbing because it was literally making me nauseous when, so, I, yeah. <laughs> I'm just, uh, yeah, I have normal, let's see, what is this over here? Checkpoint, I guess I should do that, but setting the spawn is, um, it's down here. I'm kind of worried. Oh god, I'm not gonna go down there. Okay, let me just do second level. Yeah, so I forget. I, I'm creating the sprint now just because it's like, I don't know, the entire experience. So level two, fall. All right, <laughs> look down again. Oh boy, here we. <laughs> oh god. Oh my god. Oh my god. I gotta be careful. Watch out. Oh, I'm dead. I can see my dead body. <laughs> um, I guess I just have to do that. I have to go into the pause menu and then come back in order to get the respawn. Um, okay. <laughs> Here we go again. Oh, boy. Okay. Oh, my God. Careful. 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 Oh. oh, wait. Where am I trying to land? Oh, I have to land in the waterfall? Is that how this is working? Um, trying to get my bearings down here. So there, okay, so this is a waterfall that I'm trying to, bear with me, the resolution on the existing Rift model is pretty low, so sometimes you don't make out all the textures immediately. Um, they're building a, a higher res model for the uh, retail sale. This is the developer kit at the moment. Um, so the, uh, the resolution I think is 640 by 360, and I'm not sure if that's total resolution for uh, overall, or if that's 640 by 360 for each eye. Anyway. Um, yeah, there, I think, I can't remember if the current HD prototype is 1080 or 720, um, but it's a, a lot higher res and they were displaying it at PAX East. So, I need to fall into the waterfall. Oh, God. Oh, my God. That was so clutch. Oh, my God. I don't know how I made that. Let's look where we came from. 
Ugh, I don't want the headset to fall. I don't. I'm more worried about my headphones falling off. Oh my god. Okay. So that is level two out of the way. Let's sprint on to the next level. We here we go. <laughs> okay. Oh my god. Fails. How many fails am I at? I'm at like three, I think. All right. So TP to the next level, and I guess set spawn. Boom. Can't forget to do that. All right, so oh, I guess I should checkpoint. I don't know why exactly I... Oh, okay, we're actually starting from here. I don't know why I have the uh, Lando chest, if I'm getting items or something. Anyway, um, all right, here we go. Here we go. Oh, boy, holding shift and looking at the edge. Oh, God. <laughs> See, the, the weirdest part is your brain, like, thinks you're inside. And so as you jump off of this stuff... You're just like, you expect that your stomach is going to just go up into your throat, but then you're sitting, you're actually in the real world, sitting stationary, and anyway, I could take the stairs down if I wanted to do that. Anyway, let's, we'll do it, we'll do it the real way. Get ready to jump without a parachute. Oh, God. All right. Oh, my God. Okay, I think there's water right in the middle there. And your boy got it. All right. Woo, there we go. I mean, where do I get out? Right here. So where am I going to? Um, right. Hmm? Where's the... Oh, there's a chest right there. Um, let me go to that really quickly. Where are... Okay, right there. Wrong set of stairs. Boom. And boom. Diamond. Oh. Oh, I did... Are we trying to get diamonds for, like, score or something? Anyway, I... Where am I going? Yeah, look, I'm holding a diamond in my hand. It's amazing. <laughs> okay, so I guess maybe I actually head down. Oh, 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 right here. Okay, cool. That works. That works. Okay, I keep having to adjust it because my headset is shifting the entire position of things. Um, all right, so... On to the next level, I suppose. I, uh, I don't know how many levels there are on this map. Um, I've never actually played it, despite its popularity. So, okay. Set spawn. Set, uh, day, set night. I think we're good on those. So, I guess let's put that in the ender chest. And, uh, so we're looking out for diamonds here. I don't know if that is, uh, like, on, on the other levels, it would have been really difficult. Okay, level four, cars. Prepare yourself. Here we... <laughs> All right, where? Oh my God! Oh God, am I going between? Where am I trying to land? I can't see the water very well. Oh God. Okay, so where's, where's the water? Where? Oh the oh the. Okay, so we have a water car, right there. Look at this. <laughs> oh my God. Okay, so we have a water car right there, and um, so let's go to the respawn. It's convenient that we can look around. Uh, despite dying, because that way we can actually, with the low resolution, sort of get our bearings on where the water is actually located. So here we go. Um, all right. Here we go. Oh, boy. So we're trying to go over to the left a little bit, land in the blue car. Oh, yeah. No, I'm not landing it. Oh, I'm going to land in it. Oh, boy. Okay, we got this. And then there was a, there was a chest over here that I saw. Do we have a diamond? Do we have a diamond in said chest? Yes, we do. Boom. Cool. And that is diamond number two. I guess there are probably diamonds on each level or something. Maybe the first two were like a, a warm-up. Let's see. Um, hmm. Check over. Actually, I don't even know where the exit is. It looks like it's over here, possibly. Yeah, okay. Um, anything in this building over here? No. I guess not. Um, all right. I guess. Oh, wait. Oh, I can't enter. Um, chest. Chest anywhere? No? Okay. I guess we're good for now. Let's head on to the next level. Here we go. So crazy. Can you imagine if the rift, like, ended up being used for, like, playthroughs and stuff to where, like, picture that there was some sort of, I don't know, uh, native Oculus Rift video format to where you could record a Let's Play in a game 
and it would basically just keep track of your character position in the game um, and then if someone else had an Oculus Rift, they could essentially play back your playthrough with narration, except they would have free camera movement. So as you walk around in the playthrough, the person could be wearing their Rift, and they could actually look around in different angles themselves. That would be insane. Um, all right. So let's, I guess, put our other diamond into here. Where is my cursor? Right there. Boom. Okay. Um, so that was backwards. All right. I wish it would auto save spawn, but oh well. Um, level five, mine. Okay, are we ready for this again? Oh boy, here we go. And three, two, one, boom. Get ready. Oh my god. Oh god, this is getting difficult. Oh boy. Uh, water is right here, but that didn't really get that difficult. But you know, you know what I mean. You know what I mean. Okay. So okay. No, 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 no. Don't do that. Don't do that. And. There's got to be a chest somewhere around here. It's a mine. I mean, it's got to be diamonds, you know? Um, let's see. Are there... Did I miss... No, I couldn't have landed anywhere up above the... Where are mine cards going? Um, the diamond has to be, like, down... Down here or something. Let's check it out. Um, I'm just going to look around and... I, I, while I've never been, like, a huge proponent of collect diamonds to increase your score... In, uh, in adventure maps, I'm still gonna try to play along here. Um, whoa, what was that? What was that? Maybe that was just a lighting glitch. Um, anything maybe down here? No, okay, perhaps there is no, perhaps no chest. Although there may very well be one and you might be like yelling on your end that I missed it. Um, I swear it's just the resolution. <laughs> um, Maybe there's one under the water. Let me just check one last time really quickly. I feel like I need to hold my breath. It's very unnatural being able to swim <laughs> with without actually being in the water. Oh my god. Um, eh. I guess we're good. All right. Oh well. We might have missed a diamond, but not the end of the world. Oh god. I actually have to go back up in order to make it to the exit. One second. One second. Come on. Let me up. Let me up. Let me up. All right, there we go. Whoop. And boom. Uh, no chance. All right. I guess that'll do it. That is the next level out of the way.